Okay, I'm sick. <laughs> I felt it coming on with the last video. Um, and I'm grateful that I'm sick. I'm thankful. And why am I thankful? Because I'm learning to, instead of resisting all the bad things that happened to me, like I've always done. Um, and not being aware of why they happen. You know, history repeats itself. <coughs> Unless you look at it objectively and think and don't, don't get emotionally involved and think like, Okay, why am I miserable? Why am I going through this negative experience? What is this trying to teach me? What, Where is it trying to guide me? What habits do I need to change? What direction do I need to go in to be more content and happy and fulfilled and more aligned with my true like self? I've been trying to develop a relationship with my past negative experiences and present ones and trying to see them as as lessons what message they're sending me where they're trying to guide me you know if you're not really in the best place for for you then you're not going to be uh happy or content so all these negative experiences are necessary to help push you help guide you to the place where you're supposed to be and for some people it takes a lot longer but for people who are more sensitive I think it doesn't take uh, as as much or as an intense an experience you know I my doctor is retired but the last the last session that I had with him and I told him all about my social anxiety um, he told me something that I always remember and he said there's two things that if they get bad enough it'll make a person change and that's pain and fear and at that time they were both bad enough for me to make a change and although it probably wasn't the best thing to do at the time I was desperate and they prescribed Prozac for me and I took it and that started a whole other list of problems which I'm currently trying to work through but um, but yeah, I'll never forget that. And you know, if you can tolerate it, you can't really change it. It has to get really bad. Certain maybe experience an intense enough pain or fear to take action to change it. And I think even little negative experiences over time kind of add up and you kind of, you know, the, the saying, sick and tired of being sick and tired you know it's like those times where you were sick and tired it wasn't so much that you changed at that time but over time with you know, cumulative uh, experiences like they all kind of add up to just like, all right, that's enough. So this is just me being sick and having to go to work because I need money because I'm poor. <laughs> um, it's just adding on to the pile of everything else I've de dealt with through the last couple of years. So I'm just trying to accept it and learn from and be aware of what I need to do to be 
happier, be more content, be more in a place where that I'm designed to be, you know. So I just wanted to make a video and say that and keep it short or relatively short.